i let's look at this partial fraction okay what is that as you can see in this place if you work this out you are going to arrive here that is if we solve this now theory over s plus 1 plus 4 over s plus 5 find the SCM is x plus 1 s plus 5 okay this divided by this you have this that is 3 s plus 5 plus 4 this divided by this this remain that is s plus 1 if you expand this you're going to have 3 x plus 15 plus this will give us 4 x plus 4 over s plus 1 s plus 5 okay this plus this is 7x this plus this is 90 over s plus 1 s plus 5 okay so as you can see if you solve this you're going to have this we say that these are partial fraction of this this guy and this guy they are partial fraction of this the point is we were able to solve this that is get this result when we work this out what if the reverse is the case you are given this to get this that is what is all about we will talk about partial fraction as a topic you are given this as to get this how do you do that that is why we are here let me show you so what you need to do if you are given this say 7s plus 19 over s plus 1 s plus 5 you are given this to get its partial fraction which are this simply do equals to a over this b over this that is s plus 5 like this so if you get a now you'll be solving for this if you get b you will be solving for this now let's do it to do this again we make this the SCN everything divided by this becomes a s plus 5 plus b everything divided by this we have this s plus 1 are you getting it we find the SCN remember we want to get these values assume we don't know this you are given this to find its partial fraction okay now We find the SCM of this and this. First of all, we put A and B. Now we are going to look for A and B. We find the SCM, we have this. We divide everything here by this. This is remaining. What is remaining? Multiply by this, we have this. The same thing for the other side, okay? Now, let's expand this. That is AX plus 5A. plus bx plus b this multiply by this this multiply by this this multiply by this this multiply by this okay now all over x plus 1 x plus 5 this means this and this are common that is let's rearrange them 5a plus b all over s plus 1 s plus 5 we just rearrange this what is common here is x so i can bring s out and say a plus b plus 5a plus b all over this now the next thing is so you can see let's write this down that is 7x plus 5 90 s plus 1 s plus 5 you will agree with me that this denominator is equal to this denominator okay 
we say that this one at the numerator is also equals to this. But we don't say equal. We say what? This is identity to this. That is to say, 7x plus 19 is identity to x a plus b plus 5a plus b. Okay? Now, you agree with me, this one has s, this one has x. We can therefore say 7x is equal to s a plus b, which means s we cancel x to have 7 equals to a plus b. Let's go for the second one. 92 is equal to this guy, because this is constant, equals to these guys without x, equals to 5a plus b. Okay, now we are going to find here b. So if we find b here now, you agree with me, b is equal to a comes to this side, 7 minus a. Right? Let's substitute this value in place of b here. That is 19 equals to 5a plus, in place of 19, we put 7 minus a, 7 minus a. Okay, then we work this out. This is 5a minus a plus 7. This minus this will give us what? 4a plus 7. Okay. We move 7 to this side. You agree with me? This will give us 12. We divide both sides by 4. You agree with me? A therefore is equal to 3. I come back here to find B. B is 7 minus this 3 equals to 4. It means, therefore, our A is 3, B is 4. Come back to this place and see. This is our A, 3. Our B, 4. A, 3, B, 4. This is one way of solving it. This one. There is another way. Let me show you. In case you find another method, you start getting confused. Say, ah, this guy did not teach me this method. Let me teach you another way of solving it. Once you get to this place, okay, that is 7x plus 19 over s plus 1, s plus 5. Okay, once you get here, you don't need to follow this method. You don't need to expand this at all. You simply say this is identity to the numerator without solving all this. So how do we go about that method? Let's write this out to say 7, 7 s plus 90 over s plus s plus 5. Okay? Is equal to here. That is a s plus 5 plus b s plus 5. One okay, all over s plus one, s plus five. So, as you can see, I just moved this to the side. Now, assume you were here, you don't want to follow that method, you want to follow another method. Simply say 7s plus 19 is identity of what a s plus five plus b s plus one. Okay. So all you need to do here now is to get A, you make this S equals to minus 1. Remember, 1 is here, minus 1. If this was minus 1, you make this S plus 1, just to eliminate this. So, for instance, if one eliminate this now, we simply say 7S plus 90 equal to, equal to now, no longer identity, then a minus 1 plus 5 plus 0. You agree with me that if I put b here and I put minus 1 here plus 1, this will give us 0. 0 multiplied by this is also 0. So that's why I'm putting 0 here. So this is the minus 1. Anywhere I find s, I put minus 1. Even here too, I have to put minus 1. 7 minus 1. Okay? This is minus 7 plus 19 equals to, this is a, this is what? 4. So that is 4a. This will give us what? 12. Divide both sides by 4. 
you can see that a now is equals to 3. Okay? Now that we have this, we go back and repeat the same method. That is, in place of s now, we put minus 5. Minus 5. That is 7 minus 5 plus 19 equals to a minus 5 plus 5. This will give us 0. So let's eliminate this 0 plus b minus 5 plus 1. Okay? You agree with me? This is minus 35 plus 19 equals to this will give us b multiplied by minus 4. Okay? Which is minus 4b. This will give us minus 16. The Bible side by minus 4. You agree with me? B therefore cancel this now, I'm going to have 4. It's equals to 4. As you can see, when we follow this method, we have a to be 3, b to be 4. The same thing with this. a to be 3, b to be 4. This is how to find partial fraction. All you have to do now was to get the answer for a and b. You simply write the answer out. That is 3 over, that is s plus 1. s plus 1 plus 4 over s plus 5. s plus 5. So this is the partial fractions of this. Okay? Hope you are not confused. If you are confused, all you have to do is replay the video. You will understand it. I believe for you to take this class, I don't need to explain to you SCM, multiplication, subtraction, and so on and so forth. Just understand the major part is here. Or here. Once you understand that I want to eliminate A, you put minus 5 for all the X as sub. I want to eliminate B, put minus 1 as sub. As soon as so forth. Hope this understood. Thank you for viewing.